Eight Stock of sat down with Dr. Carl Diefenbach from the National Institutes of Health to talk about HIV vaccine research and the 505 vaccine study. HVTN 505 was an important test of concept of a vaccine in one of the in the highest risk population in the United States, uh, men who have sex with men. This vaccine um, uses a, a system which we refer to in vaccinology as Prime Boost, but it was really important to test this vaccine in this population of men who have sex with men. The vaccine uh, only recruited men who have sex with men who were circumcised and ad 5, which is a component of the vaccine, seronegative. The reason to do the study in this population is this addresses one of the greatest needs in the President's National HIV AIDS strategy. Moving forward, the study enrolled 2,500 uh, men who have sex with men. The date we elected to stop the um, further injections and move toward essentially stopping the study, we uh, had something called the Data Safety Monitoring Board, which is a group that we have come in to look at our studies that has independence from the NIAID and in the NIH and can look at the data and tell us whether we have achieved efficacy or harm. In this situation, we didn't quite reach harm, but we had clear evidence of no efficacy, nor if we continued the study, would we ever achieve a level of efficacy. So for that reason, we stopped the study. In this year, 2013, it's important that we realize we are at a very unique place in vaccine discovery and development. Over the past several years, we've had some significant breakthroughs in HIV vaccine research. First, we had the result of the, the TIE trial, or RV144, which through subsequent analysis demonstrated the possibility that actually that vaccine induced a set of antibodies that may have been responsible for the low level of protection we saw from that study. So one avenue of research is to pursue how we can make those antibodies in HIV negative at-risk people and make those antibodies stick around longer in their bodies so that they would achieve the level of protection. The second truly amazing breakthrough that I thought we would never see in our lifetime, the ability of a subset of HIV infected people to make antibodies against HIV that have the, the, the strength and power to really knock the socks off HIV. There are some of these monoclonal antibodies, which is another name for these, that can neutralize up to 95% of all the circulating viruses around the globe and do so at a dose of, of antibody that is at a level that would be achievable through a vaccine. So now the magical part of research is can we figure out how to take what we know about HIV, about the structures of HIV, how it works, and make an immunogen, a vaccine that can trigger in a reproducible, reliable fashion these antibodies in nearly the majority of everybody that gets vaccinated. It is a really important research problem that we're facing and, and moving forward with at this time. For more information on HIV vaccine research, visit the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and AIDS Info.